Curry shoes, and he's got neon green shoes with a gray uniform. <laughs> Here's Glenn Rice Jr., runner up from 12 and splashes it in. Didn't look pretty, but it works. Kuzmich, then Seth Curry just walked into a wide open three. He wasn't able to make it, and then another just easy dunk. Glenn Rice Jr. splashing that down from the right angle, 9-7 Iowa. And it's uncharacteristic. Too high for him. Rice Jr. saves it in, and Stinson kicks it to Christopher, lays it up and curls it in over the front iron, 15-7 Iowa. But to his credit, Idaho had the scorer's table had given them a three for a long two, and they didn't change it until much later. Carmichael hitting a right short corner jumper. And it's so Kuz Good math. Before the 360 times two. Yeah, there it is. Carmichael probably should have been an and one, but he gets the floater in the lane. 13 to two run in the, in the last 210. Ihambi right corner three is good, and that's what he does, folks. More than 200. 105 to go in the first half. Santa Cruz has again cut it to one. And it's back up to four after a friendly roll from the corner three from Glenn Rice Jr. He has 15. Fans clapping in unison. Stinson lays it off. Jeffers' second side finish is true. 64-62. 18 seconds to go. Shot clock. 25 energy by two. Stinson feeds Jeffers in the lane. The runner good. Otheus Jeffers now with nine points. Is anybody? Tipped in by Kuzmich, and Santa Cruz has its first lead since the first quarter. Jeffers right back with the dunk, and Santa Cruz did not get back on D. Jeffers may be a little bit of a cherry pick there, but he's with it. Hands it off. Stinson thinks about the three. Now we'll go baseline. Whips it off to Carmichael with the authoritative slam, and it's 85-80. The energy on a quick six.